Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Our topic for today is about factors and multiples. So first, a factor or a factor of a number is the number that we need to multiply to get that number. So for example, so the factors. So for example, the factors of six. Factors of six. What do we? What numbers do we need that we can multiply to form six? So first would be one times six. Well, six. So six. I mean, one is a factor of six, and six is a factor of six as well. Two times three equal six. So that means. 3 is a factor of 6 and 2 is a factor of 6. So the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Yep. So, let me give some more examples. So, let's erase this and move on to another example. So, another one. So, this 20 oops wait a minute 20 yeah for the factors of 20 what numbers should we multiply multiply to get 20 of course 1 1 times 20 equals 20 so both of these are factors of 20 so 1 2 times 10 times 10 can also be multiplied into 20 so these are factors as well 4 times 5 so 4 and 5 are also factors of 20 because when these numbers are multiplied together they will form the number 20 so there are factors of 20 are 1 2 4 5 10 and 20. Did you guys have a good look at that for a second and study it? Okay. So let's get another one. 36. Okay, factors of 36. Of course, 1 and 36 are factors of 36. So one, two, two times eighteen equals thirty six. So two is and eighteen are also factors, so just underline all of that. Three. Three is also a factor of thirty six. Three times twelve. Twelve is also a factor. So I'm gonna write that down. equals 36 more factors we need more factors that is 4 4 times 9 4 times 9 yes that is 36 so 4 times 9 equals 36 so 4 and 9 are also factors of 36 so let's sum it up so the factors of 36 are 1 2 3 4 9, 12, 18, and 36. It's a lot of factors. Okay, just so that the camera can see it. Okay. We have a good look at that too. Let's go to 70. 76. 76. Factors of 76. So we need 1, of course. 1 is always a factor of every number. So 
Yikes. Okay. So one is of all is a factor. Two because it's the last number is even. So two times thirty-eight. Six. Two. Four is also a factor. Wait, three. Is three a factor? No, three is not a factor. So four is a factor. Four times. What's thirty-eight divided by two? Thirty-eight divided by two would be nineteen. Four times nineteen equals. Seventy-six. So that would be four. Seventy-six cannot be because the last number is not a zero nor a five. Six. Six. Six cannot be as well because the sum of the the whole of six are both two and three. So the last number is even, and the sum of both numbers. Are divisible by three, so seven plus six is thirteen, and thirteen is not divisible by three, so six cannot be used. Seven cannot be used as well. Eight, no. Nine, no. Hmm. Nope, there's no more possible answers, so. Back the factors of seventy six are one, two, four, nineteen. Um, wait, I forgot to underline. Thirty eight and seventy six. Yay! So the fact, oops, the factors, the factors of seven hundred twenty nine are, of course, one. So one times seven to nine equals seven to nine. Two cannot be because it's the last number is not even. Three, three times two hundred forty three. Runs equals seven to nine. So three is you can use three. Nine as well. Nine times. Wait, is that correct? Yep. Nine times eighty one. So eighty one uh, is a factor of this as well. Seven to nine. So. Nine times eighty one equals seven twenty nine. So the factors of seven twenty nine are one three nine eighty one two hundred and forty three and of course the number itself seven twenty nine. So we have to underline again. I'm underlining them so you guys can see what the numbers. Twenty-seven, yes. So twenty-seven times twenty-seven is equal to seven twenty-nine. Coincidence? So those are the factors. So twenty-seven and um, eighty-one, two hundred and forty-three, seven hundred. Okay. And 
next number can be sound 125 okay 125 of course one so one times 125 equals 125 two cannot be three three no four no five yes because the last digit is a five Okay. So 5 times 25 equals 125. And I'm not going to forget to underline them. So 5, 5. And then. Wait a minute. That's it. Factors of 125, 125 are 1, 5, 25, and 125. I'm having so much. Hmm. You guys can look at it for a minute. It is sad. guys welcome back to my video so the next lecture the next topic that we're going to lecture for today is about multiples so the second part of this video so get on to lecturing multiple so multiples when you multiply a number by one two three four five six and so on we get multiples or of that number so it's basically skip counting so like for example, 6. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. So, for example, let's give multiples of, it's not simple, 3. So, the multiples of 3 are 1 times 3. No, that's wrong, that's wrong. Was 3, 2 times 3 was 6. Are you kidding me? Four <clears throat> four times three equals twelve and so on. So these are the four multiples of three. So in the next one. <laughs> okay. So Multiples of three are three, six, nine, twelve, and so on. On to the next number. So let's look at that for a second. Let's erase it. Move on. on. number what would be a good next number seven seven what are the multiples of seven so the multiples of seven are so seven fourteen twenty one twenty eight Seven thirty five and so on. So seven times six is also a multiple of seven. So all of these are multiples of seven. So this multiple, this is multiple, this is a multiple, this is a multiple, and that is a multiple. So let's list them down. So the multiples of seven are seven, forty, <coughs> forty. 
14 21 28 and 35 and so on so continues forever until you reach the max limit of numbers we get another example back to something basic like 10 so 10 multiples of 10 are 1 times 10 be equal to 10, so that's a multiple. 2 times 10 equal to 20. Three times ten be thirty. Four four times ten be forty. Plus twelve plus five times ten be fifty. And six times ten would be sixty. And that goes on until it becomes too hard. So the multiples of ten are ten, twenty. 30, 40, 50, 50, and 60, and it goes on. So let's have a look at that. So, okay, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and comment if you d didn't understand anything. Don't forget to subscribe. And subscribe. And also subscribe. Goodbye guys.